Hello, what's up guys? This is How to Teach X. My name is Axel and today we're going to talk about the present tense. The present tense, present tense simple, usually is the first tense you learn in your native language and probably also in the English language. And as the description already indicates, it's also quite simple. We need it to express repeated actions. For example, Charlie often draws nice pictures. Or general facts that cannot be argued. The sun rises in the east. Scheduled events or fixed arrangements. The plane flies to Glasgow every Tuesday. Sequences of action in the present or habits. First I get up, then I have breakfast. To give instructions, open your book at page 45 and with some special verbs such as I understand English. Now you could remember those situations, but it's also possible to look for signal words. For me personally, you have to be careful with signal words as they're not always included in the sentences and you should actually understand the sentence and not choose the tense according to the signal word. But some of them are worth mentioning for the present tense. If the sentence includes words like every day, often, always, sometimes, or never, in many cases we're talking about repeated actions that require the present tense simple. Remember, never is also an indicator for repetition, just the other way around, like you re repeat not doing something. I never go ice fishing. The easy part about the present tense simple is the form you just use the infinitive. The, the what? See, you have a verb like to open, to close, to fly, etc. Then you use it just like it is. I, you, we, you, they, always open the door. However, for the third person, so he, she, it, we add an S. So third person S, we add an S, the so-called third person S. So it's not he opened the door, but he opens the door. Some verbs end in a Y. For example, to fly. Then the third person is built with an IES. So the Y changes into an I and it becomes flies. Others, like buy, also end with a Y, but they don't. So buy, buys. Because there is a vowel in front of the Y. Another problem are the words that end in a sibilant. Remember sibilants? Check out this video here. If the verb ends in a ch or s sound, for example teach or wash, the third person also ends with an es. So wash, washes, teach, teaches. You could basically say if you can replace the pronoun with a name, you need an s. He opens the door or Charlie, Andrea, Napoleon, etc. opens the door. Now we had an example with always. But what happens when I want to express that this is not always the case? So for example, to form a negative sentence, we need do plus not. I do not always open the door because it depends on who is standing outside. <laughs> we can also contract the form so I don't always open the door. Now take a quick guess. Which person is going to be different again? Hmm? Hmm? Exactly. The third person, so again he, she or it, do becomes does. So it's he does not or he doesn't, contracted form, always open the door. Now as we're already in the flow, let's also discuss questions in the present tense simple. What do we ask if we don't know whether he always opens the door? The do or does moves to the front of the sentence to indicate the question. He always opens the door becomes does he always open the door? Now there are three verbs that need special care. Let's look at them. The verbs are to be, have and can. For to be there exist different forms depending on the pronoun. I am. Positive, I am tall. Negative, I am not tall. Question, am I tall? There is no do. For the third person, he, she, it is. Positive, he is tall. Negative, he is not tall. Question, is he tall? For we, you and they, it's are. You are tall. You are not tall. Are you tall? Have has two different forms. So for I, you, we and they, it's have. You have a car. You do not have a car. Do you have a car? We use do, as you can see. Do you have a car? So here you can see we use do again. Of course, for the third person, he, she, it is has. So it's a different form. Not haves. He has a car. He does not have a car. Does he have a car? 
and can only has one form for all. So it's I, you, he, she, it, we, and they can. I can sing, he can sing. I cannot sing, he cannot sing. Can I sing? Can he sing? So you see, there is no difference between the regular forms and the third person. So there is no S for can. Now, this was a quick one. Let's see what you remember. Turn the sentences into negatives and questions. I am here. They are young. The water is dirty. I have a new car. Feel free to pause the video and fill in the blanks. So for the first one, I'm not here. Am I here? They are not young. Are they young? The water is dirty. Is the water dirty? I do not have a new car. Do I have a new car? Next exercise. Is the third person formed with an S or with an ES? Feel free to pause the video again. Think of the rules that we talked about earlier. So work works. Help helps. Teach teaches. Watch watches. Cry cries. E I E S. Buys just an S. Enjoys just an S. And kiss kisses. E S. That's why we do those exercises. Now the last one is a self-assigned work. We are not going to uh, compare because the answers are individually different for everyone. So what I want you to do is think about repeated actions that you do or habits in your life. What do you always or what do you never do? Write it down. Also think of some facts that you know. Write them down and look around, turn away from your screen and look at your room. Describe it. What do you see? Something big, something small, old or new. Those are all situations where you would use the present tense. So just practice on yourself right now. I hope you liked this video on the present tense. New videos on the English tenses are coming up very soon, so stay tuned. If you like our videos, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for the latest news. Come on, it's only one click. Thank you for your participation. Bye.